<laughs> yes, we both are. At a very core level, just basically sane. <laughs> Kristen, I read that you explained your working relationship that you guys work really well together. What would both of you say is the magic of your working relationship? Some kind of sanity, some kind of base level <laughs> human sanity. <laughs> yes, in our profession, yes, sometimes you meet people that are, don't have base level human sanity. <laughs> yes, we both are at a very core level, just basically sane. <laughs> that happens in other professions. I mean, it happens in all, <laughs> it's, it's in the world, ultimately. The trouble in this movie really begins when your character, Mike, tries to leave town. That's forbidden under his arrangement with the CIA. Your co-star, Bill Pullman, described that as sort of a metaphor for growing up. You try to leave town, you want to spread your wings, but that's kind of where the trouble begins. Yeah, exactly. The movie, in a way, is like kind of these characters coming into their own, like a kind of almost coming of age story for these two characters. In the beginning, they're really, they're shut-ins, they, their only friends are each other, and then over the course of the movie, they have to become like these kind of, well, like action heroes they're forced to become in order to defend themselves, and they ultimately kind of find each other and themselves towards the end. What if I'm like a robot? How do you feel? Kind of amazing. Especially with, with Mike revealing himself to himself and to Phoebe. It's like because she knows kind of like, uh, she's got so much faith in him and she really does know his capacity and like his strengths and he doesn't. And so then you're like, by the end you're like, and now he gets it. And so they can be even happier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another recent collaboration you guys did, which was pretty awesome, was the awkward interview sketch for Funny or Die. Are you seeing anyone at the moment, though? Sorry? I was just wondering if you were seeing anyone currently. You know, Are you sure I they didn't switch the cards? That just seems absolutely Is this not awesome. how they usually go for you? No. I, I'm normally asked if I'm like the class clown. That sounds so something. easy and fun. So I'm curious. It really made me wonder, like, what do you guys wish someone would ask you? Mm. I don't know, I don't know. I guess I don't wish for any questions. Um, <laughs> you would yeah. just rather be doing something else? No, I don't, I'm happy to do this, but I get nervous that I'm going to say something wrong. So yeah. if I, like I, right I, now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is so right, this is not wrong. I would love to ask the questions. I'd be so much more at ease, mm -hmm. you know, asking the questions, because yeah. you don't have to reveal you, yourself, you know? <laughs> right. Kristen, yeah. what do you wish someone would ask you? I don't know. I have the same piecemeal weird answer of like, I don't mind doing this, but it can be weird. But at the same time, like, I don't wish for the question. I'd rather ask that. I'd probably the same answer. Mm -hmm. Any interviews and a lot of interviews are centered around this. It is a big part of American Ultra, but does it amuse you guys at all that people get so fixated on pot? No, it's not a big deal. I just think uh, this movie is very, very realistic, but it is somewhat dreamy. It just seems like a thought that someone had while stoned. <laughs> and uh, it, it's it's so absurd and kind of bizarre. Like, it, it, if, if, if these kids weren't a little bit and take the pot out of it, artistic and like kind of just like their thoughts are fairly ambiguous and like out there, um, which can be kind of like stoner vibes. Um, the movie would never work, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, yeah, but um, it's funny when people come in and fixate on it because it's insane, it just, it looks really transparent because they know that uh, it's it's uh, somewhat salacious to talk about drugs in an interview about a movie that's supposed to just be funny and fun. Mm -hmm. And so I'm always like, oh, come on, that's like silly. It's not what it's about. It's yeah. really just a, like a love story and an action movie and blah, blah, blah. 